friends welcome back to my channel if you're new to my channel don't forget to like comment subscribe down below if you're not new welcome back so i am making cheesecake filled strawberries um the super easy recipe i learned from pinterest i think and it came out super super good so i am going to show you all how i did it so for this recipe you will need some fresh strawberries make sure that you do clean these strawberries before you use them vanilla extract i just got some essential brand from the store um eight ounces of cream cheese which will be just one thing of cream cheese confectionery sugar confectioner confectionery whatever powdered sugar um I just use this. You can use um, graham crackers. You can use vanilla wafers. I like the ground cinnamon. Um, it gives it a little kick. And a half of a lemon. Also, you're going to need a whisk, whisk um, <clears throat> knife, and a fork. So you can use this recipe with an electric whisk. But like I said in my previous video, I do not own an electric whisk as of yet. So I am whisking it by hand. All right, guys. So I start with cutting the tops off of the strawberries. All right, guys. So I've cut the tops off the strawberries. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut the bottoms. Now you can also have this as your base and cut this into fours like this. Ooh, cut this two and have the cream cheese coming out of there. Um, that's up to you. What I did yesterday was I had them on the bottom base so I cut the edges now, since this is my stomach, I'm going to have to, right? I can still use this. So, just cut the bottom so they can stand up. Okay guys, so now I have cut the bottoms and the tops of my strawberries so they can stand up. Um, this one actually messed up because I cut it too low when I was trying to show y'all an alternative. But I'm going to still use it. Next, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take one of my little measuring little cup thingies. I guess measuring spoons, is that what you call it? measuring spoons the one teaspoon measuring spoon <clears throat> and I'm going to carve this out like this guys so you see that i have cored all of my strawberries so now we're going to put this to the side and work on the mix so for the cheesecake mixture we're going to use the eight ounces of cream cheese make sure guys when you do use this cream cheese make sure you thaw it out for um approximately about 30 minutes before you make this um, it's just going to be easier for you to mix it around if you do not have an electric mixer at home, like me. Next, we're going to use a half a cup of the confectionery sugar, well, the powdered sugar. Yes, it looks like a lot of sugar, but it really isn't. 
All right. So next we're gonna take the vanilla extract and a teaspoon measurement. Now, so far, this is the mixture. Now we're going to add the lemon. You just need a half of the lemon. Okay, so we've added all of the ingredients in this mixture. Now what I use is a fork to kind of combine it before I whisk. Okay guys, so I have finished whipping to my liking. Um, it still has like maybe, could be whipped a little bit more, but my hands are tired and I didn't whip this much yesterday. So I know they're gonna still come out good. So I am going to now put this to the side. I'm gonna get me my plate, just like a little small plate. Oh, sorry, just washed it. So I'm going to get my little small plate and I'm going to plate my strawberries. So now I am going to take our mixture and don't mind this raggedy bag, but I just cleaned it out from yesterday's mixture. Um, just a little Ziploc bag, I don't have any more. All right, you guys, so I have my strawberries ready for me to pipe and I have my filling in this bag and I'm just going to take it and I'm going to Now I'm going to use this ground cinnamon and I am going to garnish. So this is the final product, you guys. Uh, this is, I think, like the best date night, girls night, if you wanna have some wine with some strawberries. Um, if you're in the house just wanting to eat something sweet and you want to whip up something really quick, this is super easy, guys. Not a lot of ingredients, maybe ingredients that you even have in your home. And you can make this in under 20 minutes. Hope you guys like my video. Thanks for tuning in. And don't forget to comment down below. See you guys on the next video.